filling up with get a phones. We've been in Costa Rica for a while where you were allowed to test the tap water. So we were just filling up out of hoses. Up in Boquete, the water was clean. We were filling up out of hoses. But we've been told down here, the water's not super good. So now we're back to filling up out of these puppies. There we go. Garaphone number one filling up. Our tank's big enough that we need six of these. It's definitely easier to just plug in a hose and fill it up, but you don't get that peace of mind of knowing that your water is absolutely clean and there's no chance of you getting sick. The last thing we wanna do is be in the van when it's 100 degrees and have some type of stomach bug or parasite or anything that can come from bad water. Chen's over here explaining to locals what the heck is going on? A lot of people think it's really funny. When we pull up and start filling up huge garrafones of water into what looks like our gas tank, and these guys are asking him, does this van run on water? No, it's for drinking. They're like, oh, it's for drinking. How is that possible? It's pretty cute. And uh, in Trent's broken Spanglish, it's even cuter. Speaking of things going wrong, our brand new computer, our computer that was completely renovated back in Costa Rica, has been shutting off randomly, which basically just sends both of us into a panic attack because that's our only computer. Just thought we'd fill you guys in on that. We gotta do a little bit of shopping here. We gotta get some stuff to make Frank's food. But the goal for today is to do something relaxing and fun. I think we're gonna take a drive and go somewhere beautiful. It's been a little stressful the past few days, so we're ready to change that. So all this stuff there in the car, it was only about 25 bucks. It's no Mexico, but Panama is actually pretty cheap. A lot of the stuff that's in here is less than you would pay in the States. However, that gallon of milk is $5.80. Panama has outlawed bags, so there's no plastic bags. You can't get plastic bags. Sometimes they'll give you a cardboard box, but most of the time you have to buy a reusable bag if you want a bag. It's no problem for us because our house is in the parking lot, so we just load everything back in the cart and go drop it off at our house. up ready for a day of fun in the sun and for me that usually means a hat sunscreen <laughs> shade so we tried to do a little bit of negotiating <laughs> set online it was two dollars <laughs> each way and these guys are trying to charge us twenty dollars yeah. each way that's what happens when you carry around a camera and you that's look like true. Americans we don't really know what we're gonna get today actually we have no idea what we're getting today that's we're gonna go check it out when you don't speak fluent Spanish we're gonna go to this playa and we're gonna see what it's all about <laughs> you ready Frank are you ready yeah Frank just wants to swim come on Frank let's go jump good boy He's gonna take us to the best beach around. I'll translate for you guys. Vamos a la playa. Nothing. Ugh. <laughs> I got the camera backpack and the camera, so I gotta stay away from the water. <sighs> Let me put you guys down, I'll go get Allie.
Well, this is uh, a little unsettling. We paid money to be water taxied out to this awesome remote beach. We're gonna show you guys around in a minute. That's our ride. And there goes our water taxi. Bye. <laughs> what happens if he doesn't come back? We were literally out here on an island by ourselves and our ride just left. I hope he comes back. Otherwise, welcome home. I don't know. I feel like Castaway out here. This should be a great time. Oh, there's water in here. There's probably crocodiles. Oh, yeah. Scary. They don't tell us anything about the area. They don't say, hey, be careful for this. Watch out for that. They just drop you off on an island and they're like, we'll be back in an hour. Have fun. So we're going to uh, enjoy our island time here and have a good time. Let's get in this water. Woo! Well, I'm not gonna lie, this normally isn't my cup of tea. I'm not a huge beach person. If you're new to the channel, this is probably news to you, even though you maybe have seen videos of us at the beach. I don't like the sand, I don't like the salt water, I could complain about it, but I've grown on this trip to enjoy the beach quite a bit. And for the past two weeks or so, we had been in the mountains and in the city and nowhere near the beach. And when we came back to the beach here, I was actually excited to get to the beach. And now we're like on a desolate beach, on an island. This is the stuff dreams are made of. This is actually great because we've been doing a bunch of tours recently. We haven't just had an afternoon free to just lay on the beach, take a little nap in the sun, really relax. We have no other option than to relax this beach. As you can <laughs> see, there's no one here. Well, that was uh, exciting, nonetheless. Frank swallowed a bunch of seawater and now he's kind of acting funny. Acting like he wants to throw up, but uh, he's not throwing up. And I think this is our faithful water taxi. He's coming back to get us and uh, I guess it's already been a few hours. Hopefully I'm not sunburnt. I feel good. Yeah. I don't feel super sunburnt. Also, I noticed while we were out there, the water is not super salty which means That's it's probably true. brackish. Which is the type of water that crocodiles and alligators love. So there might be some crocodiles out there. A little scary. I know in here, if you just walk in there like 30 yards, it's like a swamp. Yeah. So there's probably crocodiles and stuff in there. Well, on this, I don't know if you guys can see the scratch marks on this tree. The, the scratch marks on this tree look like cat scratch marks, like yeah. big cat. So a few hours was plenty for me. I'm ready to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the van. We're gonna make some food, cause I'm hungry. Oh, well, we made it back to the dock. Short walk back to the van. Okay. Okay. Trying to figure out a good place to park for the night. We thought uh, Boca Chico was gonna be pretty secure. A little bigger. I, I just asked that guy. So about, what's the security like here? And he said, oh, it's about 75%. <laughs> which is not, not a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> so. We didn't really get a good answer on where to park either. We're just kind of parked in the centro. So because the security here is only 75%, like the friend we ran into earlier was telling us, we actually have been trying to find a safe place to park the van tonight so that we can sleep securely, not have to worry about getting broken into, which if you guys remember what happened to us in Nicaragua, was kind of a scary incident that we try to avoid whenever possible. I found a little church and I'm hoping we can park here. Okay. Yeah. Perfecto. Okay, gracias. 
So now we're at this awesome little campsite for one. It's actually just a nice little lady's house here in Boca Chica and she is letting us live in her driveway for a day or two. I know a lot of times everybody thinks that we are always positive, always happy, everything is happy-go-lucky no matter what, and Allie is in a special kind of mood right now. I thought I would just show you guys. This is not nice. What's going on, Allie? Where's the butter? I don't know. Why are there limes oh, everywhere? We are just dripping in limes, and all I need is butter right now. I'm Top really... Oh, Sorry. maybe there's, oh, there's butter ghee. in the it's freezer. Okay. It's okay, oh, there's, there's ghee. ghee. Um... I don't do great when I'm really hungry, and I'm really hungry. But I know that about myself, I try to stay on top of it. I need to eat. For everybody's safety, I need to eat. These are, these are Trent's famous sliders, and these are actually in our cookbook. If you guys didn't see our last video where we basically told everyone, hey, we made a cookbook, you can check it out. There's a link up here. There'll also be a link in the description if you guys want to look into it. While me and Allie are thoroughly enjoying our stay here, Frank is having somewhat of a standoff. Frank, chicken one, chicken two, chicken three, chicken four. We got four chickens and Frank. Okay, what do we think? A oh salad. boy. And a salad. Yeah, yeah. And some lime waters, delicious. Yeah. What do you think, are you proud of yourself? I mean, we didn't have cheddar cheese. You gotta use the ingredients that you have available but I think they look good. I hope they taste good. Yeah, we got, is that mozzarella? Yeah. We got mozzarella instead of cheddar. Cheddar is what goes on the authentic Trent's famous sliders. So these are, these are Allie's famous sliders <laughs> because they don't have cheddar cheese, they got mozzarella. Should we dig in? Yeah, cheers, babe. Oh yeah. Mmm. So good. Dinner was delicious, so now I think we should just take a little stroll, you know? Work off that meal, maybe see if we can catch a sunset. At least- Sun's going down, clouds are moving in, temperature's dropping, feels nice. Yeah, I'm not even sweaty. Yeah, it feels good down crazy. Here. And just like that, we are nice and clean, salt and sand free. And this lady's house, it's $3 to park here and it's a dollar across the street to take a shower. It's like four bucks. Most places we've been paying like $10 to park in a yeah. safe spot. So yeah. it's really nice. Winning. Before we let you guys go, there is one thing that we wanted to talk about. It's we released our cookbook a few days ago. We've had a lot of good reviews. Yeah. A lot of people have said that they love it and we couldn't be happier. However, we were going to release a cookbook with the Nomadic Movement back in the Don't Stop Belizean series, and that plan just never made it off the shelf. So we decided to make our own cookbooks. The Nomadic Movement is making their cookbook, we made our cookbook. They're just separate cookbooks. So when theirs comes out, make sure you pick up one of their copies, and thanks for buying ours if you did. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. We thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Good night.